Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube project. Um, this is gonna be a let's play of XCOM Enemy Unknown. I have Enemy Within also installed, so maybe I do it later. I don't know what the differences are. I have to go check at Steam or at some forum or something to see what the real differences are, if it's worth it to play this first and the other one after, or if I just play the other one. Or just this one, I don't know. Um, I have a few games installed on my PC. Uh, not a lot, but a few. Um, and I'm planning to make let's plays of all of them. And maybe I later release a list on my YouTube um, what the games are. And I will for sure be um, buying some more games and making some let's plays. Uh, uh, Twitch, I don't know, I'm not doing that now, I started once for a little while, um, yeah, but uh, my internet connection was really bad, now I'm at a new home with a better connection, maybe I'll try it again, but for now I will be making some YouTube. So let's start right away, um, I changed a few options. Um, audio, I left it all the same. Gameplay also, interface also. I changed video to 1080 because my recording was like uh, 420 or 480 or something like that. It was like half the screen. And the graphics, I put everything on high. I think it should be okay because um, yeah, it's a pretty old game and my PC is yeah, maybe three or four years old. But um, it's not that bad. I have like um I don't know processor, but I have a ten seventy um graphics card. It's not up to date anymore, but it was pretty good uh, then. And now the with the twenty series cards, uh, I don't know if the changes are that big. But um, yeah, for now that's the PC I have, and the one that I'm using. So, um, yeah, I would say let's get started. Um, I'm not familiar with tactical games. I played a little bit of um, Dawn of War 2, and I doubled a little bit into XCOM. But I don't know, maybe five hours of gameplay or something like that. And I watched a few Let's Plays, uh, mainly of Ko Carnage. I like him a lot. Uh, I only watch his Let's Plays, not live on Twitch. Because, um, yeah, I like to follow the whole game and I don't have time to be like eight hours a day uh, watching Twitch. Um, yeah, that's the basics. Uh, I don't know what this is, I don't know what this is. I will leave everything standard and start at normal and start the game. Uh, see you after the cutscene.
light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3-1. You were being deployed to Germany. At 1900 hour Zulu, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. Well, that wasn't that complicated. Not a lot to see in this intro. Um, I guess most of you will know it already. I made this um, tutorial mission once or twice. For test purposes once and the other time when I was playing privately. Um, yeah, let's launch this and see what's happening. The graphics are better than I remembered them. I thought they would be pretty bad for the time the game came out. Central, this is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo 3-1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. Central. You getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first. Let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta One, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid. Like, um... The, all the hardcore gamers back then <laughs> um, were playing a game like this, uh, like a tactical game like this, with the same um, gaming mechanics or um, similar, not the same. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. It was like in the 90s or something like that. It was underwater. I think it was some kind of XCOM game too back then. And it was really hardcore. And it was like a badge of honor or something like that. To be playing that game, it would show that you were. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Like a badass gamer back then. Only the hardcore gamers and nerds would play that game. Um, I think it was some kind of XCOM game also. Go check it out. I read somewhere. And there's no available cover between here and there. 
so you better double time it. I read somewhere that it was um that this XCOM games are like a new version or a new take on the old school XCOM games. And I think that had to be one of them. But it was everything underwater. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Dr. Valen, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position, based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. Um, yeah, sorry for talking in the... Um, cutscenes all over the game, but I think most of you already saw this a lot of times. So I'm trying to make it more bearable. Um, yeah. Yeah, that game uh, I got a lot of blood here. back then seemed to be pretty See where it's coming from. Pretty hard. And all the like um older guys like twenty years old and stuff like that that were playing games were playing that game. I think I just found and we kids were playing like, I don't know, Total War Shogun I think sense. back then. And like Dungeon Keeper and stuff like that. <laughs> Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Yeah. Um, what is it, this guy? Yeah, I have to follow the tutorial, so let's go suicide. Talk to me, soldier. One or two of these guys. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is. But I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Well, this one up here. We just follow the tutorial. We don't have a lot of options here. <laughs> Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. Supposed to go here. Okay. In position. Looks clear. Now here. Oh get yeah, nice. And get to cover. Make a lot of noise. Delta That's the two. best you can do. That door's in our way. Take it down. Yeah, take down the door. Solid that cut. evil door. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry for the stupid jokes. I'm a little bit, um, not nervous, but uneasy. This being my first let's play. I once tried to do some, but like I said, my old internet was really bad. And um, I made like two episodes of Dawn of War 2, I think, back then. And my sound was really bad. I just had my headset microphone. Now I have one of these um, snowball things. And um, back then, half an hour of video to upload would take me like six hours or something like that. I don't know how it is right now, because it's the first new video I'm making. But I will test it and I think it will be much faster. My old internet connection was like 16 megabytes down load. And like um, two and a half upload, I think. That's why Twitch was impossible to do. And um, now I have like a hundred download and 25 upload, I think. So everything should be much faster. And Twitch, for example, should run pretty smooth, I think. Because Twitch only needs like 2.5 or 5 mega megabytes upload to run pretty smoothly at 720p I'm not sure, like I said, I'm a pretty noob at all this stuff Delta three. Move but in yeah, and disarm him. that will change 
in the meantime because I'm starting to do this and hopefully regularly. Uh, my English will improve over time too, I hope. I understand pretty much everything. I watch all my movies in English, I play all my games in English and um, yeah, I don't have chances to talk a lot of English or speak a lot of English. So um, yeah, my pronunciation is probably pretty bad, but I hope it will improve over time and that you guys bear with me. So tutorial is almost over and then starts the real game. Um, I'm gonna make like half an hour episodes more or less um, or maybe one one mission per episode I don't know I probably will stop the recording after the tutorial and um, just to see if everything is alright and then I will probably start with half an hour episodes but um, with a lot of variation because um, I'm not probably not going to cut in the middle of a mission or um, I don't know, sometimes I have stuff to do and <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to fire, press enter or on the action you wish to perform. Uh, fire, yeah. Left and right, press enter to fire. Select fire using left and right. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay. Fire and eighty-four percent, sixty percent critical. Let's fire this guy. I don't know if the tutorial is um hundred percent nice scripted. If you can miss this Delta shot four, sometimes, I don't know. Cover. Let's I know. Let's see now because I'm not going to at the enemy in front of you. do this one again. I hope. Um, grenade, grenade, enemy in front. I hope he means this one. Um, hello? What the F? Why isn't this working? He is not getting... What the F? Why is he not getting... Like... Highlighted. I suppose it doesn't work like that on this one. <laughs> now get ready for their counter attack. Maybe it's like in another XCOM. Because I remember watching Let's Plays and the enemies would be highlighted if the grenade would hit them. Now flanking. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. Fire the guy, okay, 75%. Hmm. I guess it's scripted. In the real game I think 75% you will miss a lot of times. It's over. Roger that Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate At extraction. least watching the the let's plays it seems that the percentages are not real i think you miss a lot more often than the percentage indicates like under 75 percent you almost never hit and over 75 percent you miss you still miss a lot of times that's at least what i um the impression I had watching Let's Plays. Uh, base location. Continent bonus. Air and space. All aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to purchase. Purchase. Build and maintain. I don't know if this is very important. 
I know that in the beginning of the game you don't have a lot of air stuff, so it's more late game stuff, I think. Um, libraries and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. This, this is important the whole game long, I think. Because you need labs and workshops. And the maintenance costs, I think, are pretty high. But you only build them once. Why can't I choose this one? Do we get a lot of... Do we get other bases in the future? We can put up somewhere here or... Rolling monthly XCOM funding increases by 30%. I completed instantly. All projects in the foundry and the office at training school plus 50%. 30% more money seems nice. Can we choose this? No. Why not? Maybe only on hard difficulties? Maybe. Um, I think I will go Europe. Um, just because I think this is an easier start. Or um, more important at the start. And since I'm not very versed in this game, I think it will be beneficial. So at least we get to see a little bit of the game before I screw it up <laughs> um yeah let's see europe we are coming home ah, only one guy left Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. Welcome to XCOM HQ, commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Okay, this Commander is the base. To the barracks. Commander to the barracks. Um, is time stopped? Yeah, time is stopped. This is like still a tutorial to learn and meet the base and learn how to use it. So I'm using this opportunity to make a little cut and a little break and I will be back to show you the base and probably make like one more mission in the next part. So see you soon and hopefully you will be back in the next part.